We present a sketch-based user interface for quickly modeling a scene from a few unordered images. This playhouse and backyard took about five minutes to model in our system. The system first computes camera poses and sparse 3D points using automatic feature matching and structure from motion. Reconstructed interest points are shown in red. The system automatically extracts lines in the images and then detects consistent vanishing points across all the viewpoints. To model the playhouse, a user begins by creating a rectangle for the front wall. The side wall is modeled from a different view using a polygon. The drawn edges are snapped to the front wall or to the appropriate vanishing directions. The system automatically computes the 3D position and orientation of the walls. The 3D viewer shows the model with back projected textures. Skipping ahead a bit. The model is shown as a translucent overlay. Note that each operation is performed from a single viewpoint. The 3D viewer also acts as an editor. New polygons can be created by choosing a pair of edges. The user can modify the boundary of the polygon or its depth while keeping the plane orientation fixed. Polygons can be extended or clipped to their intersection line, shown in magenta. The side walls are extended down to the ground plane. First, two polygons are selected. Then their edges are snapped to the intersection line. For all polygons, a default texture map is generated from a single image. The user can always overwrite it with another image. Some planes are partially obscured in all the images. For those, a seamless texture map is automatically generated from different photos. The source images are color-coded in red, green, and blue. Unobserved texels are in gray. Here is the final model after four minutes. In this dataset, after modeling the roofs and walls, a window is drawn with a polygon. In the 3D editor, this window is replicated. The new window is constrained to lie in the same plane as the original. Polygon extrusion is used here for the dormer window. After creating the wall, windows can be cut out once and replicated. Note that the new ones snap into alignment. Next, the cutouts are selected and pushed back for the windows. Here is the model after 2 minutes, 4 minutes six minutes, and finally after ten minutes. This is the textured model of the castle after fifteen minutes of modeling. Here each color indicates the source image for the texels. Note that the roof planes were textured from multiple photos. For this dataset, the user specified additional vanishing points after the first three orthogonal ones were automatically estimated. Note how some of the green and blue horizontal lines coincide even though they belong to different vanishing points. Our plane reconstruction approach deals with this ambiguity. To complete the roof, the front side of the roof is mirrored. The mirror plane is a vertical plane passing through the edge that the user selects. Here we show the modeling in progress. Snapping to vanishing points makes it easy to extend the roof. Next, extrusion is used for the fascia board. The garage door is cut out and pushed back to the correct depth. Note how the projected textures give the user feedback while editing. Texture maps can have artifacts due to unmodeled geometry like the trees in this example. The user brushes over these and the system replaces them with pixels from the other images. Note that the final texture is seamless and without. The incremental models are shown here from two different viewpoints. The top row shows the geometric model while the texture model is shown below. Here we show the final model overlaid on the photos. This took 25 minutes to build in our system. The resulting geometry is detailed and the textures are artifact free. Unmodeled structures like trees and bushes do not appear in the texture.